back everyone and welcome to anybody that's new. So today I'm sharing with you my AliExpress and Amazon haul. I got a bunch of new nail art products as well as some props for videoing and some other things. So I'm going to go through all of it again and share it with you. You guys are going to like this haul. There's a lot of good stuff in here. So keep watching and I will move everything aside and get started. So I'm going to show you AliExpress first. Now, this is the first thing I want to show you. This is the backdrop, a beautiful marble one from AliExpress. It just arrived this week and I absolutely love it and it is big enough, so that is really nice. And of course, I'm going to have all the links down in the description so you can find them. And I will tell you the size of this one down in the description with the link just so you can find the right size. Okay, I'm getting into the packages. I needed some new acrylic brushes. So I did get two of these, I'm using one now. Now this one, I'll show you up close. It's a Kalinske, oops, I just lost the lid off it. It's a Kalinske, it says Germany on it, and this one's an eight. Now I wish I would've got a 10. The eights are a little small, so just for reference, there's the eight. If you like a little bit bigger one, go 10 or higher. It is quite small, smaller than my other eights I have. I'll show you another eight that I use. This one, and you can see the difference even with the bristle spread, it's just not quite as big. So, but otherwise I don't mind the brush. It is Kalinsky, so that is good. Okay, so these are new and I am dying to try these and I'm going to do a video with these, but these are like a stamping type mold. I'll bring it up close here. Hopefully you can see some of the designs, but I will do a separate video because I do want to try these out. These aren't normal stamping plates, so I do have to explain it better in a video. They're really neat. Here's one of the other designs. Last one. This one looks more Christmassy. Oh yes. So I also got a microphone that I'm using right now to speak into so you guys can tell if it's clear and crispy enough or not. But this is the bag it came in. I'm just going to pull it off my shirt. There might be some noise with that and show you. So there it is. I just clips on to my shirt that I'm wearing and it plugs into my iPhone 11 that I'm using. And so far I think I think the volume's really good. I'm gonna put it back on so you can hear me better. Now I have another quite a big one from the Born Pretty store on AliExpress. So I did get some more white stamping polish. I like their stamping polish as well. Here's the thank you card. I got these for next fall, the little paper cutout pieces. I'm gonna bring them out. There, you can see them better. Little leaves. It's really cute. Some more leaves, kind of more of a orangey red color. They're really cute as well. And these are some, I'm not sure if they're classified. I can't remember offhand as a glitter or there's a different term to them, but you put them in the sticky inhibition layer of your color or your top coat. Oh, 
how pretty. I love this turquoise color. And they do come with the little brushes as well. I'd probably use a brush, a different type brush, like say something like this to put them on, but they do come with a little applicator brush. It's a gorgeous color. How pretty that one is. Oh, a nice red. Oh, and a nice orange. That'd be perfect for Halloween. And of course, it came with the brush again as well. And I have used these on one of my clients before, so I'm kind of out, but there are some marble foils. These are really pretty. If you don't know how to marble or aren't comfortable with marbling, I just would like them because they were a little different and something I didn't have in foils. And you guys know I love foils, so I'm not gonna show them all right now and up close, but you can kind of see what's in there. There's like the white marble, like my backdrop, but yeah, just some really pretty ones. And there's 10, of course. Okay, so this one actually just came today. So I got another one of my tweezers. Now this tweezer is exactly the same as the one I was just using. I just like the really pointy sharp ends and then it has a nice end to it. It closes really tight so that means it's just a better tweezer. There's no spacing there so that's what you want for a good tweezer. This one I dropped on the ground so there's a little bit of a Ridge you can see there. So that's why I decided I was going to get a new one. And I didn't have any red hearts for Valentine's Day. And I know it's past, but now I have them for next year. They're just so pretty. And I also got these ones too. I just thought they were really pretty. Very holographic in the pink, but just gorgeous. So you guys know I always do the poly gel full nail tips and I use the clips to clip my nails on before they go on the light. So I got one, two, three, four. So there's five in this set. I will show you one up close so if, you, if you haven't seen my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. So if you want to see one of my videos where I apply these clips, it's in the top right hand corner. And there they are. They work so good for applying the full nail tips so that they do not pop up before you're done curing them. And I did purchase some glitters. This rose gold is just stunning. nice everything comes sealed pretty as that it's a plum more actually maybe more even burgundy it's so pretty another rose gold that looks like I'm not sure why I got two this one might be a little different we'll compare it right away and see oh they are a little bit different in color it looks like this one's maybe more of a pink rose gold where that's maybe more of a true rose gold Very pretty anyways. Now I wanted for sugared nails just a solid white and I think this one was solid white. Yep, 
Yes, it is. It's solid white. So that's what I want for, like I said, for sugaring pretty much anything. I'll try and show the light on it better so you can see. And then I got another white that is more of a diamondy white, if that makes sense. It has that silver little bit of sparkle in it. They're not easy to find. Yes, it's a little bit more. Again, same brand. And the last one, I'm just about out of black. We've used black a lot lately. I'll just open it to show you. It's a pretty black. I don't know if you've all seen my posable silicone hand from AliExpress and the finger. And you can see that video in the top right hand corner, but I'm just gonna show you them both quickly. Because I actually, I really like them. So this is the posable full hand. And you can fully move the fingers, like I said, to pose them. Very realistic looking. And I also had purchased a posable finger. Very realistic again. And one thing I do want to share with you, this isn't from AliExpress, but I did find some knuckle rings at Claire's. Perfect for the ring finger or any of the fingers for that matter on the posable hand or the little finger. They're just really cute. Some silver ones. And a rose gold one, really pretty. And the reason I know it's a knuckle ring is you can see right there, it shows that they go up higher. Really pretty. I wanted to show you those because I just got those as well. These are some tips and I'll just show you them. It comes in a nice box. It's 500 pieces. I really love these tips because I'll show you here. Of course, they are numbered. You can see all the numbers at the top. But this is why I like them so much is look at how they're angled in. They're a nice coffin tip. They're a weld tip, as you can see. But I like the fact that they come in so narrow, so there's not a lot of cutting and filing if you do shorten them. So that's nice. So just a really nice tip. Okay, another one from Amazon is I bought the McCart three-piece nail art liner brush and these are really good. I think I've seen V nailed it. I think that's how you say her, the name of her channel. She's a pretty big channel, but uh, she had these and uses them all the time and swears by them. So I'm just gonna open them up and show you the different lengths. So of course we've got the turquoise brush and this one says number three and it does say McCart. So there's the length of that one. And the gold one is number two. And this one's maybe a little shorter than the last one. I'll just show you here. Yeah, it is. And 
And then we've got the number one. And I think this is the one she uses a lot in her videos. So I'll show you them all up together here, the links. So there they are. So another thing I got off of Amazon, now this is for soaking your fingers to remove gel polishes and acrylic or whatever else. So I just want to show you the difference between this and another one. Okay, so this is obviously where you're soaking your fingers. But what I like about this one is, so sometimes to remove uh, polishes, gel polishes that is, you need some warmth. So what you can do is put warm water in here and then put it back on and you can soak your hands it removes the polishes a lot quicker than just soaking them in acetone the water helps speed that up so that's why i got this I did get some of these i've had these before and they were like a little stick so what you do is when you say you happen to cut your client or yourself hopefully that never happens but it does happen it's very rare but anyways you wet these and then this stops your clients like nail from bleeding like say you catch the very corner just slightly and it's bleeding you wet this and put this on and it'll stop it right away of course it's for shaving but I like to have them in my room just in case bring it up here now this is a nail art pen and this works so well for doing art on the nail i'm going to show you an example and i'll use it just to show you how well it does work it's very it's very fine i'm just going to stamp something and then i'm going to show you how well this works i'm just going to add the polish to this tip first before i show you the marker I'm going to be stamping this design right here and I'm going to be using this Born Pretty polish and you can find this on AliExpress. I can put that link down too in the description. Now I'm just going to top coat it before I add the marker to it to show you. It's best just to top coat it and then if I do make a mistake I can just wipe it without wrecking the stamp. So there's the marker.
it for a minute and then I'm gonna do a matte top coat on it. And there it is with the matte top coat on it. I hope you enjoyed this nail art haul from Amazon and AliExpress. So many nice things. Love all the nail art, the nail supplies. I love the practice hand and the practice finger, my favorites. I love the glitters, the nail art brushes, the pen. And I think you guys will agree it was a pretty good haul. And of course, these I will be doing a video on. I want to show those up close, how to use them. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, that would be great. And I will see you all in the next one.